at 8,848 meters above sea level, Mount Everest is the tallest peak in the world. That's almost nine kilometers high, or nearly 25 Eiffel Towers stacked one on top of the other. Because it extends into the coldest regions of Earth's troposphere, it's no surprise that Mount Everest also has one of the harshest climates in the world. Each year, it attracts thousands of climbers determined to reach its summit. Only half will ever make it to the top. Although the month of May is often the best time for the climb, temperatures near the summit still average just negative five degrees Celsius, with winds up to 56 kilometers per hour. Without proper precautions, hypothermia and death are real concerns. To survive conditions this extreme, Climbers must trust their lives to the technology of thermal insulation. To understand how thermal insulation works, you need to understand three concepts, temperature, thermal energy, and heat. Temperature is the measurement of how hot or cold something is. A human's core body temperature is about 37 degrees Celsius on average, and anything below 36 degrees is considered dangerous. Thermal energy is the total energy of all the particles in an object, regardless of temperature. Heat is the transfer of thermal energy from a warmer object to a cooler object. Thermal insulation prevents the transfer of thermal energy between objects with different temperatures. On Mount Everest, heat transfers quickly from a climber's body to the air, which is why a climber can feel very cold without thermal insulation. Climbers must wear extra layers of clothing that have a thermal insulating material. This includes natural materials like wool or down feathers and synthetics like polyester. These insulating materials reduce the amount of thermal energy the body loses. Human beings may not be able to survive in supremely cold temperatures without thermal insulators like parkas, but there are some mammals that can because they have something we don't. Blubber. Blubber is a layer of fatty tissue which sits under the top layer of skin and keeps marine mammals like whales, seals, and dolphins from losing thermal energy, acting as a natural thermal insulator. We've seen examples of thermal insulation preventing heat from escaping. Did you know thermal insulation is also responsible for keeping your lunch cold at the beach? For example, a beach cooler is designed to keep the food and drinks inside cool by using thermal insulation to prevent thermal energy from flowing into the cooler. So thankfully, we don't have to drink hot fruit juice. Can you think of some examples of thermal insulation? How about your home? When architects and engineers design buildings like houses, they use thermal insulation to maintain the temperature inside. Thermal insulation is also used in some mechanical systems to keep parts of them cool. For example, a car engine generates a lot of thermal energy. So thermal insulation is used between the engine compartment and the seats to prevent thermal energy from entering the passenger area. From marine mammals to wool coats, from machines to school buildings, thermal insulation continues to play a big role in our daily lives. Keeping our buildings warm, our food cool, and even helping mountain climbers reach the top of the world. Now, look around the room you're in. What are three examples of thermal insulation that you can identify right now?